Howdy folks. Some topics I cover on here are more popular than others and I can tell because I can see how many people view each video. Now there's a couple things that go into uh, me deciding what topics to cover. One, it, I do whatever I feel like because no one can tell me what to do on my channel and I'll just do what I want. But there is a second factor and that is positive feedback. Now, if you uh, don't know, uh, Uncle Pete's Cocktail Shop runs on positive feedback. So, uh, I've gotten a couple of nice comments on previous El Presidente videos, and so, you know what? I'm making more. It's El Presidente time. Alright, so this week I'm gonna start off with a little bit of vermouth nerd content. So if you're not up for that, I'm sorry. So I got this bottle of vermouth recently. It's C. Comot. Uh, Comot? I don't know if it's Comot or Comoz. It's French. I don't, I don't pronounce French, but well, Comoz, I guess. Anyway, I was looking it up and it's pretty interesting uh, sort of history. Okay, so the history goes like this. There was a fellow named Jean-Pierre Comot and he used to work for the Dolan Vermouth Company in Chambray, in is a region of France. And then he left a Dolan to start his own company and called it C. Comot. This all happened in 1856. Then he passed it on to his son and in 1881 his son developed Blanc Vermouth and started selling that. And they're credited with inventing Blanc Vermouth. Now, fast forward to 1930, his grandson, Noel Comotz, uh, is actually now president of the Vermouth Union, which is which is a thing, I guess, uh, the Union of Vermouth Makers. And he is able to get Blanc Vermouth recognized as an official category in France. That's pretty neat. Now, vermouth over the years kind of got less and less popular and uh, the company went uh, went away in 1980. But at some point it was acquired by the Dolan Vermouth Company and now Comot is made uh, by them using the original formulation uh, from 1881. Why am I telling you all this? Well, because apparently uh, Comot was the vermouth that was called for in the El Presidente originally. You were supposed to use this specific Blanc vermouth. And so as I like to do in this uh, series, we're gonna make two El Presidentes. We'll make one with Comot, we'll make one with La Pivon. Uh, La Pivon is a delicious Spanish Bianco vermouth uh, that I used in my fingertips video. If you haven't seen fingertips, it's a delicious cachaça and grappa cocktail a savory delight that I have my own creation uh, still available at the Multnomah Whiskey Library for a limited time. Now, before we get on to making El Presidentes, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a little quick taste test. Let's see if we can determine any differences before we begin. All right, so I poured a little of each. This is a Comot and this is La Pivon. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the uh, Comot is quite a bit paler. Ooh, that was fun. Now let's give them a try. Here's Pivon. Very nice. Somewhat dry. Mm. With a, sort of a spicy herbal aftertaste. And, and a bit drying on the mouth, of course. Uh, I mean, it's delicious. Let's try Comot. A little less sweet, I think. Not mm. quite as uh, herbal on mm. the back end, but like more of a sort of that wormwood bitterness going on in the, in the finish. Hmm. Both delicious. Now, as I like to do in this series, I'm going to make two of these El Presidentes, one with Comot and one with La Pivon. We're going to use the same recipe for both. We're going to use Probitas, a delicious, delicious rum uh, made by Foursquare uh, with some Hamden mixed in. Delicious. We'll do three quarters of vermouth. We'll do half an ounce of Pierre Ferrand dry curacao and a bar spoon of homemade grenadine. Uh, let's do it. Let's make these drinks. <laughs>
start with La Pivon and see what we think of that. Very nice El Presidente. A little bit hot, a little spicy maybe. I'm not getting quite as much of the grenadine, but I am getting the orange and the vermouth comes on at the end as sort of a uh, sort of an herbal aftertaste, which is very nice. Now let's try this uh, Comotes and we'll uh, see what the original has to offer. Oh, that's very nice. You get more of the orange, the orange and grenadine sort of mm. meld through the mid palate, and you get it's a it's a mm. it's again it's a bitterness on the aftertaste. Uh, the pavon is a little bit spicier, I think. But Kamotz El Presidente, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I can see why it became such a popular drink. Now let's try it one more time. I really like El Presidente. Okay, I mean Kamotz. Very good vermouth to use in this drink. There's actually nothing wrong with La Pivon either. I know it's Spanish and not French and wasn't the original uh, choice for the El Presidente, but it's actually fine and delicious. So I believe there's gonna be some leeway in what you do uh, with your vermouth choice when you make an El Presidente. In fact, I used to use dry vermouth before I understood that it was supposed to be with uh, Blanc Vermouth and that I actually preferred it with Blanc Vermouth. But you can actually do a split of Blanc and dry vermouth if you wanted to. You could do all dry vermouth. It's really up to you. There are no rules when it comes to making drinks at your house. All right, so conclusions, these are very similar. Uh, Pavone a little spicier, the Camotes a, a little bit more bitter on the aftertaste, but otherwise, these are both very good El Presidentes. Now, as I said earlier, Uncle Pete's Cocktail Shops runs on positive uh -huh. feedback, so leave me some positive feedback down below. Uh, let me know if there's something you're interested in hearing about, and I will see what I can do. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.